Okay, hello. Welcome back. Hopefully this works because I've got a new phone holder camera thingy um, and it's not what I expected. It's not very good, but it's recording. We'll see if it falls down. Um, so yeah, today I just kind of wanted to talk about setting up the dividers for my Malden that I'm going to start using next year, 2021. Um, so this is what I've had before. I've always used this Filofax personal size. Before this year, um, I used this for about 10 years and loved it. And then, which I have explained in videos before, so I won't go into much detail now, but... This year I switched to just giving this kind of planner a go, which is um, a day per page and just quickly like it's just not worked for me for various reasons. Um, I won't go into it because um, <clears throat> I have at length in my previous videos. Um, so for now, for the rest of this year, it's just going to be a very basic like what I've done each day, um, mostly sort of outs and abouts and what I'm doing in terms of physical activity but but that's kind of probably it for this one now which is fine because I mean here in the UK this is November the 6th I'm filming this and we've just gone back into a lockdown because of Covid um so whatever whatever to that diary whatever to this year I'm just looking forwards now because I'm over this year. Over it, hun. So yes, before this year, I always used um, the personal sized Filofax for about 10 years. Um, and I love the way that the Filofax system works because I love the week on two pages and I love the little tabs. But this size was getting too small for me, um, which is why I wanted the A5. And I also need to like actually jiggle around the tab system a little bit because I've mostly kept so I've always like made my own dividers and I've also always like kept the titles of these kind of to what I think comes with the file effects I've never thought for some reason before now to actually just change what is on the dividers um so yeah this is <laughs> this is like the first set of dividers I ever made for myself and they're very rough around the edges now I can see that but I have a big soft spot for this because I really love the colourway it looks good with the purple of the Finchley um, and yeah I just think they're really nice patterns and then I had this I feel like I'm really out of breath at the moment and I don't know why I think I've just been rushing around a bit trying to get this camera set up and it's left me a bit I mean I think I'm fit but then you know I film a video and I can't breathe and then this was the the Christmas dividers that I had for this planner very cute so yeah I basically I'd always kept the dividers the tabs titled the same because I'd never really thought of how to split it up properly but this year with Covid and things my sort of life has taken strange twists and turns and I actually do have a little few projects going on now and I want to kind of divide my planning up into like weeks, months and then the year. Um, I want to incorporate some tracking like in my previous one. I want to sort of keep better track of my periods and things and like housework stuff. So yeah, I was kind of just thinking how can I really make the tab system here work so I started um, with this very rough bit of scrap paper it's just like the back of a spare sheet here um, and I always knew I wanted five so I always knew I wanted like calendars rolling kind of information goals general stuff and then the diary um, but I could never really know what the sixth one was so anyway 
I was just sort of ticking off as I'm prepping like the pages for this in my new planner for next year. And it's sort of, I kind of find that sometimes just start, even if you don't know where you're starting and eventually something will click and you'll be like, oh, that makes sense. And so I found that I have like a lot of kind of finance sheets. And before I was gonna put them in either rolling data or general info stuff, but I have quite a few that really, they kind of need their own section. So this is version point two. Um, so now it's kind of become a bit clearer in my head the tabs to be like calendars, trackers, goals, personal things, finance, and the diary sheets for the year. So before, in this one, I've always had the diary section, like the week on two pages, actually in the first tab. And I just, and I found that because then over the year, it just got bigger and bigger and bigger, because obviously it does when you decorate it and things. Um, the rest of the tabs, I just ended up not really using them eventually because they just sort of got lost under the diary and I never thought when I opened it up every day to check these things because it was the first thing and once I sort of looked at that that was it so I've decided for, for the new one I'm going to actually put the diary pages last because during the day I want to sort of have a little check in the morning of my overview for the year because that's going to be the page where I track, for example, like leave and periods. And also the social stuff, the social media stuff. Have a quick look at calendars for the month to see what birthdays are coming or like moon cycles and things. Um, and then the rest of the information that I kind of need at least weekly. So this is important stuff. And then... The diary can come last because obviously I'm always going to look at that every day anyway. But it just can come last because that's a given, if that makes sense. And that gives me space when I open this up in the morning to look at all the other important bits first. So, yeah, this might take on another version perhaps, but I think we're kind of here now. So, for example, rolling data became trackers. So this is going to be like, during the year, what books I've read, what TV shows I've watched, my meter readings, fitness PBs, my self-date days. Don't be fooled. <laughs> That's not boyfriend date days. <laughs> um, like seasonal cleaning things, then I'll have goals. General info stuff became personal stuff. So that's just like passwords and logging on info. Um... Contact details for friends and my sort of health stuff and then finance and then finally diary. So I'm going to keep, I mean, I'll show you in other videos actually what I'm going to do with the diary because I feel like that can be given a separate video. So here he is, Mr. Morden, A5 in ochre. I've always, always coveted this planner. Wanted it for a very long time. This always irritates me, the flappy bit. Um, so yeah, as you can see, ignore all this because this is just sort of in progress stuff. Um, I've not even taken this out actually. So I'm gonna do that now. The final birthing <laughs> of this one. Um, let's do that. Um, I never really know what to put in these. I do see people's videos and they put sort of nice things like, um, like photos or stickers so I'll have a look at other people's and see what they do with it because like I keep things like receipts in like a separate pouch because otherwise it just gets a bit too full so there we go ah, it's finally mine um, so these are just things that I'm using at the moment to um, set up the pages that I want to use oh, oh by the way actually I, I don't know I can't remember where I found this um, tip it was on someone's video and I'm very sorry if it was whoever's watching and I've forgotten your name. But basically they use like an old store card to tear washi tape instead of using scissors. Um, so you just like take it into the page and rip the washi tape off and this is fantastic. Um, save getting scissors out and doing it wrong. So I will show you how I do use that in a different video. 
but that's all that's kept there for now and this is just some like tabs and stickers but yeah not for today i will go into that in a different video because today i just wanted to talk about the dividers that i'm using for the new one so at first i was wondering if maybe in the new year oh, i could use this set um I'm always drawn to purple. You know what is funny is purple is actually not my favourite colour. But I have a lot of purple stuff. I think actually purple just goes with a lot of things, doesn't it? And it's a very easy colour to work with. But I mean, I mean, I made these for Christmas for my shop. Um, and I feel like maybe they're just a little bit too Christmassy. They're very subtle. I find like this is quite a nice wintry scene. So this could work well between January and March here. But yeah, I guess these were kind of a little bit too Christmassy for me. Um, so maybe I'll just save these for next year. Um, but these are the ones I've made specifically for this folder for now. Um, I love the tigers. So I've never actually had a dashboard before, but I'm gonna start playing around with these this year. I've only got one for now, just for the front, because I quite like the idea of just sort of having, opening it and having a nice picture to look at. Um, it used to always be kind of sheet, um, which is boring. And also <laughs> I'm not likely to take this out of my flat, to be honest. So I don't really need this at the forefront. Of the planner so here we go and yeah i'm not like a big tiger person like obviously i love tigers but they're not necessarily my spirit animal um but i just love the color of this sheet with the color of the planner i feel like it's really nice as a first page because it's trying to find a way to make this planner feel like a girly planner um whilst also retaining its soul a bit because it's quite a sort of dark planner with quite masculine feels to it but i kind of want to put my own feminine spin on it at the same time as keeping that there so i thought this was a little nice opener this dashboard so yeah because i don't know if the camera can pick it up but behind the tigers it's kind of a mauve color like a very 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 light pink um so i feel like that is a really nice start um so that's the dashboard i like as well how all these pages are have got like reverse patterns on them because in my last set i had to actually put two pieces of paper on each side for the laminate whereas here i can just cut these to size and they work <clears throat> so yeah here we go so this is i've got six stayed with the six because as you've seen that just kind of makes sense um so this is the color way i've gone for and i haven't used before actually the same sheet over in a divider system but i think it looks really nice because it allows some pattern and different things but also ties it together because I think the colours just go really well. Um, so yeah, really happy with this. Um, and the way it looks kind of all together. And I think what I'm going to do eventually is maybe have a few more dashboards to split some pages up. But we'll get back, we'll get to that, I think, as the year goes on. I think this is going to be, for this year, a bit of a work in progress. So that's... Get away, you cheeky. So that's that for this divider. And I also made out of some scrap paper um, for the calendars, which is going to go, I think I said, oh my gosh, I've lost my piece of paper. Yeah, here we go. So in the first tab, I'm going to put my calendars. Um... And that's where I'm going to split up sort of the yearly and the monthly ones. Oh, at first I was going to put these as like long ones. So they were more like the page keepers that you get with the diary. 
but I actually quite like that they're quite short. And <laughs> this really made me laugh. Um, when <laughs> all the inserts are closed, I like how he's just picking out the top there. <laughs> so I enjoyed that. <laughs> so yeah. I've not actually named my dividers just yet because although I'm pretty sure I'm going to stick with these titles, I don't want to waste the tape. So I'm going to finish all the pages that I'm going to pop in here, all the inserts, um, just before I do do the final naming and then I will name them. But I'm definitely going to put the diary last this year, I think, because that makes sense to me very excited to actually use these tabs properly this year um, rather than having like I've explained in previous videos just having endless endless notebooks to cover all these different topics that I could always have put in my file effects before so yeah that's it I think for this video just for now because I just wanted to give a bit of attention to these dividers because I really love these and I put a lot of energy into these and I think it's going to look really nice. Um, I'm also so excited about this size. I think it's definitely the better size for me. Um, the personal was just a bit too small um, in the end. I also realised this isn't actually a pocket here. I thought it was but yeah this is the pocket. And I've seen in someone else's video um, they can put an iPad mini in here. Um, I don't have one, but just in case anyone's watching and you do, that's a handy tip to know. Um, and yeah, I like how this planner comes with two pen loops because I like coloured pens as well as a black pen. I'm a black pen girl, but um, I do have a lot of like here. You can see probably <laughs> how many coloured pencils does someone need? But yeah, I've got a lot of different sort of coloured um, pens and things that I do like to use. Um, so it's always handy, if I ever do take it out and about, to just pop one here. Um, so what else is in here for now? Um, these little page markers. Originally, I was going to use these instead of these ones. But I like how I can title these. And again, I just love his cute little face poking out over the top. But I'm going to use these for other things in the planner, I'm sure. And again, it looks really nice with these colours. They go really well. Um, I think this is just a spare bit of laminating I did to look nice. Because I don't really keep a lot here. Um, I see some people chock these full of things. But because... Like I say, I'm going to keep this at home anyway. I don't really need to put any like decorating supplies in here because I'll be doing that at home and I keep it all in my desk. So yeah, the one thing that I am also thinking that this year, so I found these in, I think, the Typo store. Um, I really love the minimalist colours here because um, I've always been a very, <laughs> you could probably tell, um, a very pastel person. I love pastel colours and my highlights for different categories of my life kind of have their set colour. For example, like working out is yellow, days out and stuff is purple, home things is green, just stuff like that anyway. But I'm kind of very aware that it can actually look a bit too messy, unless you keep similar colours, unless you use, use like one colour a day perhaps. Um, but I find that if I use all these different colours, Sometimes it can just look too messy. Um, so I'm going to be playing around a little bit as well, whether I keep the colour system or I see how some people, the more minimalist planners, do use highlighting, but they keep to like one colour a month um, or very subtle highlighting. For example, like underlining things in one colour rather than actually using a coloured pen to write with or to highlight with. So I'm not sure, but I do really like the minimalist colours in this one. I think these are very beautiful because um, they, they have a bit of colours, but yeah. Grey is actually 
<laughs> one of my favourite colours because it just goes with everything and it's very subtle. I feel like it looks quite classy. So, yeah, we'll see how this goes. But I'm going to try to not, for the first few weeks in next year, 2021, to not go mad with excitement <laughs> over um, like the decorating and things. I'm going to try to just take it slowly. Like I have been like really taking my time to think about how I want this to work next year. Um, you know, you don't always have to use the one version that you have. Like you can constantly evolve how things work. Um, and the great thing with, with this is that even if I get a few months into the year and find I want to rechange the dividers, I can just take the tape off and start again. So I think that's going to be it today. I don't want to waffle on for too long. Uh, because let's face it, I'm not really talking about anything in particular. I'm just waffling my thoughts into the abyss because I'm sure someone out there will totally get <laughs> what I'm saying. So I think my next video, um, I will actually start populating the dividers um, once I have definitely finished with how I want them titled. Um, and I'm also going to do... A separate video for like my moon work and tarot study I don't know if that will be interesting to people but that's something else that I spend a lot of time doing how I do that is also going to change next year and I thought that might be helpful perhaps for someone um, oh look it's just poking out again so cute and so how cute are these um, I'm not really a cutesy sort of person. I don't know what's happened to me, but recently I'm just like, yes, I want all the cute, silly things. <laughs> so that'd be cute to keep track of. I don't know what yet. I just like them. Um, so yeah, and these are, these are the pages I've sort of finished prepping so far for next year, which I will, again, go into different video with because I feel like these need different explanation, how they came about, and if I really want to keep the way I've set these up or not but um yeah that will be a different video so for today Mr Malden is ready ready to go just got to finish these um actually title these and then I'll start populating um probably in the next video so that's it for today um can't wait to start using this and like a few people have said before why not just start using it now because I'm obviously very excited about it honestly I thought about it I ummed and ahmed about it so much but I, I can't like half finish something so I am going to just finish this year with this one I've got like less than two months to go now anyway because we're past the first of November um it is what it is you can see i tried um doing as much as i could to make it work but there's been huge gaps i don't like the day per page format it's just not for me but now it's just going to be a very simple logging what i do kind of each day um but there won't be any particular i don't know passion about it i suppose um i just feel like i'm going through the motions with it now but it's not for much longer and then yes i can move back into a pile of wax a bigger one which i think is going to be great for me um this is the week on two pages because i do like this format i like as well how with this one because i find like a lot of planner inserts have very small saturday and sundays but they're often my busiest days that so i never understood that but i like how all the days here have the same size that's what we need. So anyway, I did say about 10 minutes ago, I'll stop waffling. I will stop waffling now. Um, thanks for joining me today. And hopefully see you soon when I actually start um, populating this planner. Um, let me know your thoughts on the dividers. If you have any other suggestions, um, what works for you. And if you've sort of gone through multiple versions of them as well, that would be great to hear. And yeah, hopefully 
see you soon. Thanks for joining.